Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Apple release new AirPods firmware updates for iOS 26. They're out now released to the public along with iOS 26's public release and it's version 8A356. I thought we'd talk about the supported devices, how to install the update and check to make sure you're updated, as well as all the new features. Now the first thing is supported devices. For most of the features or pretty much all of the features, you'll need AirPods with the H2 chipset which means AirPods Pro 2 with both Lightning and USB-C, along with AirPods 4, AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation, and the new AirPods Pro 3. Unfortunately, those are the only devices getting most of the features. AirPods Max will get an update, but you don't really see many features, so hopefully we get those in the future, but it looks like you need the H2 chipset in order to enable most of these features. Now, in order to check the update, now that we're connected here on our phone, let's go into settings. You'll see the option here at the top on iOS 26. And if we go into the AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation, scroll to the bottom, you'll see the latest firmware update is 8A356. I'm already updated. It updated on its own. And you'll see the case version is the same number, 8A356. You'll see the same here for AirPods Pro 2. Scroll to the bottom. Same firmware, 8A356, same with the case as well. One thing to note is there's no longer a switch here in iOS 26. If you were running the AirPods beta firmware updates throughout the iOS 26 betas, they've removed it and they'll just update automatically like you always would. And in order to update, if they haven't updated on their own, typically you'll need your AirPods charged to about 50% or more. And then if they haven't updated at that point, Normally what I do is just take these out of the case, place them in my ear, listen to music for maybe 30 seconds or 45 seconds or so. Once I've listened to that music, I'll place them back in the case, just like this. Again, they need to be charged a little bit, and then I'll just set them next to the phone, lock the phone, and walk away. They'll typically update on their own, and then we're good to go after about 15 minutes or so. You can also update them with a computer, plug them into a Mac via USB-C, and again, they'll just update on their own. So it's fairly easy, seems to be pretty quick, but again, I would like an update button. Now, the first thing that's new, now that we're connected, let's go ahead and go into our settings here. We'll go into our options, and I'll place one of the AirPods in my ear. You, of course, can see the different interface here. And if we scroll down, you'll notice that we have camera control. Camera control allows us to take a photo or a video by pressing once or pressing and holding on the stem of the AirPod. So you have the little button on the stem of the AirPod. You can actually just press it and then it will take a photo or video. So I have it set to press once, but you can customize it there. We'll go into the photo and you'll see here's the photo. I'll press the stem button in my ear here. So let's go ahead and do that. And now it's recording a video press it again and it stops. If we go to photo, it will actually give me a little bit of a timer here, a countdown three, two, one, and then take the photo. So that's how it works. If you want to use that, you can now take a photo with it or start a video recording and it works pretty seamlessly. Now, one of the new features Apple showed off is also available, but it's in beta. If we scroll down in our menu here, you'll see translation beta. When both AirPods are in your ears, press and hold both AirPods to start translation. If we go into it, we can select languages and it shows us how to use it. So we've already downloaded English, French, and Spanish, and you'll see it also says download languages to translate when offline. This works on device and you don't need to be online. So it's great that it works here again with AirPods 4, AirPods Pro 2 and AirPods Pro 3. So let's go ahead and we'll just press this here. We can press both stems, I guess, and we'll try it out. This is the first time I'm trying it. So let's go ahead. It says press and hold both AirPods to start live translation. And then now it says live translation. And it says translating Spanish in my ears and it goes into it with live translation. So it says automatically translating Spanish. And if we say hola, we'll see if it gets that since it's coming from my ear, it may not work properly. Maybe it's listening here, but automatically translate Spanish, hide original, show original. So you can see that here. So if you have someone maybe you want to practice language with, or maybe that speaks Spanish, French, or the other available languages, you can do that. You'll see their, their language, your language, and you can adjust it here. So this is a nice option. Again, all on device in real time, English, French, German, Portuguese, and Spanish are available now. And again, you can select your language as well. So that's pretty great. You'll also hear it in your language as it comes through. You'll see it on the screen and hear it as well.
Now, Apple is also saying there's improved audio quality using the H2 chipset and the beam forming microphones, as well as computational audio, you'll get more natural vocal textures and clarity across iPhone calls, FaceTime and call kit enabled apps. Also, there's studio quality recording. You can record higher quality audio when making videos or using your devices to do things such as record video or a podcast, and the AirPods 4 and AirPods Pro 2 can use that here. So what you would do is maybe place them in your ears, and when you go in to record video, or maybe you're in a FaceTime call, so let's turn this around, go to video. If it senses they're in your ears, you can actually use that for audio. So if we go in here, you'll see our camera controls in the control center, go in here and we have input, same as system. And now we can select AirPods. Once we've selected AirPods for the microphone, we can have the microphone from the AirPods, which supposedly it's really great on AirPods Pro 3 from what online reviews are showing. So I can't wait to get my hands on those, but you'll see we also have options for standard voice isolation and wide spectrum. So if you want to use your AirPods with that, while you're in different apps, this works while recording podcasts, video, and anything else. Now, another feature that's really great this time around with iOS 26 has to do with your AirPods and when you're connecting to other devices with CarPlay. You can actually disable it jumping between devices. So if we go into our settings and then general, go down to AirPlay and continuity, we now have a new option for keep audio with headphones. It says when using AirPods or other wireless headphones, keep audio with headphones when other devices like speakers or cars connect to iPhone. So I've used this, maybe you're on a phone call, you need to drive somewhere to pick something up. You can then keep it in your headphones. Maybe you're on a phone call and you don't want it to just jump to your car or the same is true with music. Maybe you don't want it to just automatically jump. You need to get something from your car, turn it on. It jumps to your car. It's fairly annoying and you would have to switch it back. Now it will just stay with whatever device you started with, with your iPhone here. So it's a much nicer option and it works really well. I've been using it for a little while now. Back within our AirPod settings, if we scroll down, there's a new option to pause media when falling asleep. So maybe you're listening to a podcast, an audiobook, watching a video, or just listening to music. It will sense when you fall asleep and then pause the audio. So you don't have to have that on, but you can enable it if you'd like. There's also new charging indicators. So maybe your AirPods are fully charged or they need to be charged. You can be notified with a charging indicator. So for example, here's when I tested out before it says it's time to charge Aaron's AirPods four with active noise cancellation, which was this one. So if we plug them on or put them on a charger here, you can plug them in. But if we put them on this Belkin charger, we may or may not get a notification, but if they're fully charged, you'll get that. If not, you won't see anything until they're actually charged. You may also get indicators like you may have seen when we connected it before. If I open it up here, let's see if it pops up on the screen. And sometimes you'll get an indicator to charge above 80%. So you'll have that option when they're fully charged to maybe charge above that. Sometimes you'll see that sometimes you won't. It just depends on the status of the charge. So those are all the features. However, connectivity seems to be fairly good. It has less dropped connections for me so far and seems to jump quickly between devices. So if I'm on a Mac, I'll just start playing a video. It will jump over there and then handoff will hand it back to my iPhone pretty quickly. So if I do that really quickly here on my Mac, you'll see if I place this in my ear, we'll put on transparency here and I'll just play a song. So let's go ahead and play a song on my Mac here that we're connected to. And it's now playing in my ears. So if I go back to my iPhone and play here, you'll see it jumps automatically. It didn't even notify me. It just did it. So this time around, it works really quickly and just jumps back and forth and it's almost instant. So it seems to be a lot better. And again, less dropped connections. I haven't noticed any difference in sound quality, whether that's active noise cancellation or transparency it seems to be just as good as it was before. And I'm pretty impressed with it overall. I've been using it a lot for trips and things flying and different places, and it seems to work very, very well. So I'm pretty pleased with these supposedly AirPods pro three are even better. So I can't wait to test those, but overall I'm pretty impressed with it with sound quality and noise cancellation. And I can't wait to try the latest ones. And so that's all the new features in iOS 26 with AirPods and what the latest firmware update is. Let me know if you've updated your AirPods. If you're picking up AirPods Pro 3, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below and let me know what you think of them as well. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.